Web3 fashion platform Siki launches incubator for emerging digital designers. The 776-backed Siki platform will work with a group of 10 digital designers to grow their skills in the year-long incubator program. Digital fashion platform Siki has launched the Siki Collective, a year-long incubator program created to help emerging digital designers grow their brands. The inaugural class of 10 designers includes fashion house Pet Liger, fashion artist Steffi Fung, photographer Glitch Off Mind, digital artist Calvin Dylan Justice, spatial computing artist Taskin Goke, visual artist Fanry Sun, fashion brand Nexberries, 3D artist Gustavo Toledo, footwear designer Felipe Filo, and immersive creator Jacqueline Asar. With the goal of disrupting the traditional fashion industry, the cohort will work together to develop their individual brands and pave the way for the fast-evolving world of digital fashion. Working under the mentorship of Siki founder and CEO Alice Delahunt as well as industry leaders including CMO of Calvin Klein Jonathan Bottomley, founding member of digital fashion platform Red DAO Megan Kaspar and non-profit the British Fashion Council, the cohort will be releasing their first collections on Siki later this year. Delahunt told Coindesk that the company's mission is to decentralize creativity and bring new mediums into the traditional fashion world. There's still a lot of cynicism about digital designers. The metaverse and NFTs had an absolutely mainstream hype cycle and then we went into the trough of disillusionment and kind of felt discarded. A little bit, said Delahunt. I think that we had to really cut through the noise. There are designers who are designing in these spaces and there are consumers who are in digital worlds consuming and expressing their identity. Taskin Gok, one of the designers selected to participate in the cohort, told Coindesk he's looking forward to expanding his design skills alongside a group of artists and mentors who are well-versed in digital fashion and Web3. I think that none of us started designing in a vacuum and I think we're all making culture together, said Gok. I don't want to work just by myself in my own case, but I want to actually join this family so that we can create something bigger together. In addition to learning new skills, the cohort is also focused on diversifying the industry. Delahunt said that the Siki Collective aims to break down barriers to entry into the fashion world by empowering new artists. The more houses that can exist at a grassroots level that can scale, the more creative, more inclusive and more diversified the fashion industry will be, said Delahunt. When we look back in 100 years' time, although there's been a lot of work done to break down barriers and diversify, it's still a very gay-kept industry. Adaku Imenaik and Aluchi Nwachiku, the Nigerian duo behind Nexberries, told Coindesk that the barriers to entry to digital design are particularly high in Nigeria due to a traditional mindset and lack of access to digital resources. The traditional fashion industry, even here, continues to gatekeep, so now we want to be the change we want to make a difference, said Nwachiku. With the collective, this is what we are looking to change in Nigeria and Africa as a whole because the digital world isn't yet as familiar here. While digital fashion has primarily been discussed in terms of events including Metaverse Fashion Week, Siki has spent the past year building out its community to help foster decentralized creativity ahead of its platform launch. In January, it announced a $9.5 million funding round led by 776, a VC firm founded in 2020 by Reddit co-founder Alexis Ohanian. In addition, it released its Keystone Pass, a collection of non-fungible tokens NFTS that grants access to its private community of 987 fashion leaders, collectors, designers, and enthusiasts. In June, the Siki was awarded as one of the World Economic Forum's Technology Pioneers for 2023.